In this video we are going to talk about what is edge computing. 10 things you need to know. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates before commencing this video. As more Internet of Things IoT, devices are deployed around the world, it is inevitable that these connections become more complicated. There is the emergence of an edge computing ecosystem comprising billions of devices and servers. Manali Baumik, a lead analyst at technology research and consultancy firm ISG, argues that, at the moment of data production, executing data analytics and giving fast actionable insights has become important. Edge computing is revolutionizing how data is managed and final outcomes are delivered. Edge computing is transforming the way data is processed and delivered. If edge computing is not on an IT executive's to-do list right now, it will be soon. According to David Williams, managing partner of digital consultancy ahead, many forward-thinking firms are leveraging edge to supplement existing cloud infrastructure and better manage today's ever-increasing volumes of big data. Edge computing and its working. Consider a remote telecommunications facility or a measurement gadget used in the oil field. Edge computing brings data processing closer to the point of collection. Edge computing delivers data and computation as near to the point of interaction as possible. To be smart, edge devices must evaluate the data they acquire, communicate timely insights, and, when necessary, take appropriate action. Edge computing is the science of making the edge devices do this without the data having to be transferred to another server environment, says Red Hat Chief Technology Strategist E.G. Nodden. Edge computing, to put it another way, puts data and computation closer to the point of interaction. Number 10. Edge gateways are emerging. As edge computing has grown in popularity, it has become increasingly vital to oversee the process, Baumic explains. Gateways have a role in this. This market is expanding, and vendors are aggressively introducing new services to better synchronization between cloud and edge handling. Edge hardware devices and services make localized storage and data processing simple, Baumic says, and the edge gateway would filter data for storage in the cloud or central repository. According to suppliers, edge computing is becoming more significant in the connected ecosystem sector. Number 9. Faster technology, such as 5G, will boost the edge. Edge computing will be enabled via 5G networks, allowing for speedier data generation support. If a video camera is taking continuous data and information, it can be easily monitored. However, with several cameras across a network, latency and cost difficulties related to bandwidth utilization would harm the ecosystem, Baumic explains. With bigger linked ecosystems, such as autonomous vehicles or smart city ecosystems, where a significant number of equipment and gadgets are attached and data is captured every second, the problem would multiply. Number 8. Data lags can still be a problem. Even minor delays in data processing can have an impact on linked ecosystems, particularly in industries such as oil and gas, manufacturing, financial services, and healthcare. The health of operations and systems in these enterprises is dictated by data flow and transfer time, and even the tiniest delay can affect the entire process. Number 7. Edge computing necessitates much planning ahead of time. How virtual and physical objects and workloads are distributed, as well as how security is addressed, must all be carefully considered while ensuring scalability and reliability across an ecosystem that generally consists of thousands of extremely different and dynamic elements, Wright explains. Edge computing systems, according to Wright, require the ability to juggle multiple processes at any given time. This includes smart object as well as cloud platforms and do so autonomously. It also must make sure that the system is secure and has scalability. During testing, effectiveness testing and demonstration utilizing big data and real-time use cases will be the key areas to analyze. McCarthy of IDC advises IT leaders to consider the edge as an extension of their main infrastructure. McCarthy explains, you want a unified development platform, security framework, and administration tools. The good news is that most IT vendors are incorporating cutting-edge functionality into their products. Number 6. Edge is a supplement to cloud, not a replacement. According to Robinson, edge computing can be thought of as extending the cloud rather than replacing it. Edge computing, in reality, is a critical enabler for realizing the full potential of cloud data. According to ISG's Baumic, data from many connected devices in the IoT ecosystem is gathered in a local device, 
analyzed on the network, and then transferred to a central data center or cloud. Workloads must be containerized and distributed over multiple cloud, as a service, edge servers, and edge devices to take advantage of the combination of cloud and edge computing solutions, right of pace Harman says. Number 5. What are the benefits of using edge computing? The reality is that edge computing allows improved user experiences with faster application speeds. Modern apps cannot be built without edge computing. On the other side, edge computing will provide you a competitive advantage. Because the data is closer to your consumers, your app will run faster and provide a better user experience. New data privacy regulatory laws mandate that data be treated differently depending on the state and country, and edge technology can help with compliance, according to Bloom. Other edge factors, according to McCarthy, include the usage of latency-sensitive apps or assets with restricted connectivity, scalability difficulties related to the volume of data generated for analytics and AI use cases, and data transfer costs for centralized processing. Number 4. Edge is an architectural decision, not a gadget. Moving computers and storage to the network's edge improves communication. As more activities get digitalized, the demand for real-time processing increases. As more activities get digitized, the necessity for real-time processing grows, says Seth Robinson, Senior Director of Technology Analysis at CompTIA. In order to perform effectively, an increasing amount of activity using IoT technology necessitates extremely low latency. This allows for data analysis as well as the system's decision-making process. For less critical processes, these are routed to a big cloud facility or an on-premises data center utilizing edge computing. According to Robinson, edge computing allows enterprises to envisage new applications while also managing data bandwidth costs. Number 3. How many businesses are adopting edge, and what is the forecast for the future? More than half of new company IT infrastructure will be placed at the periphery rather than in corporate data centers by 2023, according to IDC up from less than 10% now. According to IDC, by 2024, the number of edge apps will have increased by 800%. They are looking to edge computing solutions. Rather, according to McCarthy, businesses are looking to edge computing as a means to shift workloads to the best performing locations. This may include metro-level co-location facilities, distant and branch offices, or industry-specific sites such as factories, warehouses, hospitals, and retail stores, according to the author. Number 2. What issues is edge computing supposed to solve? Edge computing, according to Rosa Guntrip, Red Hat's senior principal marketing manager for cloud platforms, helps address the key problems of bandwidth, latency, dependability, and data sovereignty. Edge computing assists in addressing the major problems of bandwidth, latency, resilience, and data sovereignty, she says, citing growing use cases such as IoT, AR, VR, robots, machine learning, and telecom network activities that demand service provisioning closer to customers. It adds to the hybrid computing model, where centralized computing is utilized for compute-intensive workloads and edge computing is used to fulfill the needs of applications that require near real-time processing, says the company, Guntrip adds to the mix. Number 1. An ecosystem of partners benefits edge computing. How can you determine the difference between edge computing and cloud computing? The author states, it's impossible for a single group to do everything. There are so many moving parts devices, networking, the Internet of Things platform, and production assets, says Yugal Joshi, vice president of management consulting and research company Everest Group. In order to make this a success, you need an ecosystem attitude from both enterprise IT and vendors. What are your thoughts on our video? Are you interested to know more about edge computing? Please share your thoughts in the space below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear from me again, Please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.